I am making these cute little shamrocks for my granddaughter's kindergarten class this year. They'll have a safety pin here to hang them up. And then on the back, I might put a magnet, but I don't have any in stock, so that might not happen. You need about five yards, a little bit more maybe, of green yarn. I have a worsted weight of number four. This is probably mainstays. And the little googly eyes that are the finger puppets. These are the small, smaller ones, like from Walmart. Um, they're really cheap. And I have a G hook just because that's one of my favorites because it has the wooden handle. I use inline hooks. You can use the boy hooks if you wish, and you can use an H if, you, if it's more comfortable for you. You start with making a slip knot, and everybody has their own way of making a slip knot. Put it on the hook. Turn the googly eyes upside down, hook through, and pull through a loop, and single crochet. You're gonna do seven more single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it should be eight on the loop, and I'd sort of push this one down. I'll move this out of the way. Then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Move this behind the eyes. And then you're going to go through and grab that first single crochet and go in there and slip stitch. That's the first round. Next round, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Skip this next single crochet, and then slip stitch into the next one. My hook, like I said, is a little bit small for this. It's, it tends to split the yarn, but this is cheap yarn. It's sort of rough. If you use a thinner yarn, you might have to make some adjustments. Next, I'm going to slip stitch in the next three. One, two, three. That should leave two, chain, two single crochets that have not been worked. You're going to chain three. One, two, three, and then slip stitch into the last, skip one single crochet, slip stitch into the next single crochet. So now it looks like sort of like a froggy face with the cheeks in the, the bottom here. In the back, you're going to reach your hook through. In the back, put your hook through, grab it up, and slip stitch into that loop. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. Slip stitch back into the loop. That is round two. We're not going to join it. Now we're going to do a clover. And all the clovers are basically done the same as what the back looks like. Done the same. So you're going to single crochet into the loop you first loop you made. Then you're going to do a half double crochet. Then you're going to do two double crochets. One, two. I slide my work around a little bit. Now I'm going to do a single crochet in here, but I want to make sure my yarn is pulled away from the double crochet. Single crochet. I want to pull that down a little bit to make that little indent in here. Now I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to do two double crochets. One, two, then a half double. Oh, sorry. Half double, and then a single crochet. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the first, into this first slip stitch that's visible. And it's going to be tight because I tightened it up. Slip stitch. And this is where I start making my stem that goes down. I'm going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
half double in the second chain from the hook. Makes it stem a little bit long, bigger, and then half double in the next one. I'm just going through one loop of that. You can go through two if you want, but it fills it out pretty nice like this. Then I'm going to single crochet in the last remaining ones there. One, two, three. That's three single crochets. Now I'm going to slip stitch in the next slip stitches on the previous row. That's right here. Not the one you did before, but the next one. Slip stitch. I pull it a little bit tight, and I'm going to slip stitch in the next one. Now, you're going to make another one of these little uh, clovers. So you single crochet into the loop, half double crochet, oops, sorry, two double crochets. I'm going to do my single crochet again, making sure I have my yarn way over here. I pull my stuff around a little bit, then a a uh, double crochet, another double crochet, half double crochet, and then a single crochet. I'm not going to slip stitch. I'm going to go directly into the next loop we made in the back. So there's the first chain one and there's the second chain one we did. The first, the second, in between those two chains. So I'm going to do a single crochet a half double, a double crochet, another double crochet, my single crochet now, pulling my thread, my yarn around, pulling it down, pushing it a little bit, two double crochets, a half double crochet, a half double, not double, half double, and a single crochet. The last thing I need to do into this first probably single crochet right here, I'm going to put my yarn in and slip stitch through. Get my scissors, which I didn't bring over here. Cut, leave a tail, cut my yarn, and then pull that tail through there. moves things around a little bit and it's done except for tying in the ends. The back looks like this. Now you can tie these together if you want to first. That'll help bring it forward and then you can weave in the ends. Thank you for watching.